Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Leo. Uh, what is, what are they not uh, telling you? What are they hiding from you for Leo? Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. So we're going to take a look at the person that's currently on your mind or the person that you're currently dealing with. We're going to see what they're hiding from you, what they're not telling you. And then we will see if this person will come clean towards you, okay? Apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody, okay? Uh, keep in mind uh, that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, um, also keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, let's get started. Tell me about the person that is on Leo's mind or the person that Leo is currently dealing with. What is this person hiding and not telling Leo for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. What is this person not telling Leo or hiding from Leo? One more. Oh. You're the Queen of Swords. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini could be dealing with an air sign here. You might have air energy in your chart. Six of Pentacles. Someone who, I feel like we have someone here that has something that they want to get off their chest. Now, not quite sure what happened between you guys or currently what's going on. It could be a situation that there's a lack of equal give and take, a lack of reciprocity here, okay? We have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus, Energy, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Pisces. We have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands here. I don't know. You could be dealing with someone here that's seeing you as, you know, an empress or something like that. Um, so it could be a situation where someone here is dropping all their options to be with you. You know, this person could have been exploring other options or something like that. And I feel like we have someone here that wants to tell you how they truly, deeply feel about you. It could be a situation that they want to tell you that these other options doesn't hold a candle to you. Okay, um, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? We have the Death card, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. This is a true pair right here, uh, Leo. Not quite sure what where you fit into this. You know, I feel like there was a lack of equal give and take. And, you know, I feel like maybe, you know, your feelings towards someone here has changed. It, or it could be the other person that's feeling this way. True soul tie here with this King of Swords and this Queen of Swords. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Death card, Scorpio energy. There was definitely an ending here, I feel, because there was a lack of equal give and take. Tell me about the Empress here. If we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You know, um, you know, I feel like someone here since the separation has really glowed up, okay? And I feel like at, at some point, if this is already happening or it hasn't happened yet, I feel like this person is going to come towards you and I feel like you might not even know what to do because this is a completely different person um, that's approaching you, okay? Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this King of Cups here. Tell me about this uh, Seven of Cups. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Seems like we have someone here that's ready to, to commit to you or something like that. Okay, um, could be a situation that, you know, at some point someone here was confused or wasn't really sure. Um, tell me about the Ten of Wands. Uh, we have the Star card here, Aquarius Energy. Since the time you separated from this person, I feel like this person has done a lot of self-work on themselves, you know. So I feel like a lot of the, uh, this person has 
perhaps if this person was carrying around a lot of pain, trauma, burdens, I feel like this person has released all of them. Oh, wow. Look at that. Six of Cups and a Two of Cups here. True soulmate connection. We have someone, this is someone that you've separated from. So we have someone here that's definitely trying to come back, okay? It's trying to come back to show you that they've elevated, grown, evolved, okay? So I feel like you might have separated from this person for quite a bit here, I feel. Um, okay, let's see. Will this person come clean towards... Um, Towards Leo. Will this person come clean towards Leo for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Will this person come clean towards Leo? All right, we have the Five of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups here and the Full card, Aries energy, and um, it could also be Aquarius energy. Seems like we have someone here that's definitely manifesting manifesting you back you know i feel like with the five of swords here i feel like someone here is willing to do anything to sort of like win you back because we do have someone here that's seeing yes wish fulfillment here leo or perhaps you're seeing someone as a wish fulfillment we have the knight of wands here and the six of swords so uh, yeah I, I feel like someone here is definitely rushing in okay this person could be at a distance from you um you know um, could be a different town, different city, different state, okay? Uh, we have the Eight of Cups here and the Fool. So Aries energy, like I said, also could be a, a Aquarius energy too. You know, I feel like this person wants a completely new, fresh start here with you. You know, I... I, I I'm feeling like this person, you know, has changed and evolved so much. I feel like this person is not going to do anything to rock the boat. I feel like at this point, it's sort of like one of those en energies of perhaps I'm getting an energy that this person kind of wa wants to go with the flow and just see what happens and kind of start off at his acquaintances, uh, move towards a friendship, you know, but I I'm feeling like there is some sort of, I mean, getting an energy that this person's coming back for some sort of closure to see if they could, you know, um, you know, make things right with you and then sort of uh, hopefully move towards something here, okay? And I feel like this person's not going to be uh, all beaten up if you uh, rejected them and said no, okay? Uh, five of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. Kings of the Queen of Cups. We have true pairs here, okay? We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so I feel, I really feel like it's this feminine energy that was doing all this crazy stuff. And I feel like this person really gl glowed up and they, and they feel like this person wants to prove to you that they've changed. We have the uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Ace of Wands here. So whoever this feminine energy is, this person still has a lot of feelings and a lot of passion towards you, um, uh, Leo. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands here. Uh, you're about to receive a lot of communication. Okay, yeah, I just feel like we have someone here that wants to get things off their chest, wants to get something off their chest, perhaps how they truly feel about you. And like I said, I feel like this person, since you separated from this person, this person has glowed up a lot and they want to prove to you that they've changed. Okay, um, tell me about the Six of Swords. Okay, we have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. You know, I feel like through this se separation or this experience, I feel like this person has gained, has gained a broader perspective and I feel like this person has learned a lot from their own experience with you, okay? So I feel like that's where the transformation has happened because I feel like this person has done some deep inner work here, okay? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Uh, all right. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like this person walked away at some point. Now they're trying to come back. You know, I feel like this, like I said, I feel like this person wants to start off as friends. Yeah, and just see what happens. The Fool. You have the Two of Wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person's coming back, you know, optimistic. I feel like this person doesn't know what's gonna where it's going to go, but I feel like this person's going to give it, give it a try. Uh, I feel like they, they are, they're in this uh, mindset of, you know, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to gain. You know, let me just approach uh, Leo and, you know, say my piece, you know, and, you know, Leo could take it, run with it, whatever that may be. I would be okay with it or they will be okay with it because I do feel like someone here is definitely coming in to work on things here with you. 
Yeah, I feel like we have someone here that's ready to put in the effort. You know, we have someone here, I feel like since, since they separated from you, they've always thought about you, wanted a second chance, okay? So, um, yeah, this is looking pretty good, uh, Leo. And I'm not really getting really bad vibes as this person has done a lot of self-work here, okay? So, um, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.